Uh, we both made our jokes, had our references, of course, to Bronny James. He is not going here in your first round, but the Lakers, they do select 55th overall in the second round. So give me the, the pulse right now. Where do you expect you Bronny just, James to fall? Just, here's the thing. <laughs> LeBron has started telling us three years ago that he wanted to play with Bronny. He repeated it multiple times. This is not a man who says things by accident. So even though they've tried to walk that back in the last weeks and months, I mean, this was going on as recently as, as during the season. Um, it's also lined up, coincidentally, or perhaps not, with LeBron's own free agency. LeBron hasn't re-signed yet. He's on the verge of signing a three-year, $160 million deal. So if you're making that type of investment on the NBA's all-time leading scorer, what's the 55th pick in the draft? So, yeah, I, I think Bronny will be on the Lakers. The only way he doesn't get picked 55 is I think if the Lakers move up a little bit higher in the, in the second round just to avoid any potential for, for something unexpected to happen. But he only worked out for two teams. Uh, that was by design from his representation. They said out loud that he won't accept the two-way contract, which means he wants a fully guaranteed N NBA deal. And I – Quite frankly, I'm not sure there's anybody else that, that would give him that. And beyond that, even if there was, I just don't think there's going to be another organization that's going to risk alienating Clutch, which is one of the most powerful agencies in all of basketball. And clearly the design here is to get to Bronny with LeBron, like LeBron has told us repeatedly for the last three years. So in an ideal world, this all works out. LeBron plays with his son, Bronny. Adam, what does Bronny refer to his dad as on the court? Does he say, hey, dad, pass me the ball? How does that work? Yeah, that's a, uh, I haven't thought of that one. And I've, <laughs> listen, I've had a lot of Bronny questions in the last couple of months, but um, it was interesting. At the Combine, somebody asked him who his favorite NBA player was, and he hesitated for about five seconds, and he's like, LeBron James? Now, I will say, <laughs> Bronny is, he's an incredibly impressive young man when you get him in these, these settings where he speaks to the media, I mean, really, really impressive um, with the amount of the microscope he's been under over the years and what he's had to go through with that, that cardiac arrest this past summer. Uh, that, I think, is the thing we don't talk enough about. Like, everybody's like, oh, he wouldn't be in the NBA, and that, that all may be true. But he's an impressive young man and carries himself in, a, in an impressive way, and I think that's, that's at least worth mentioning. Oh, yeah, especially with the way that uh, he grew up. He has every right to feel like a superstar growing up in that household. Um, that question, of course, is not, don't give me credit for it. That is courtesy of our producer, Kenny Williams. Uh, he just lays awake at night thinking of other <laughs> Bronny James-related questions to ask, which I'm sure um, you lay awake at night thinking about a similar thing, Adam, with how much... I, I, I had to <laughs> I made a couple of takes at the Wizards, so hopefully there's another show next week. We'll, we'll have to see. Yes, hopefully Kenny will, uh, the Washington Wizards fan, will forgive you for that. Well, thank you so much for uh, being on the show. We do appreciate you rolling through that mock draft. You can see the full mock draft on CBSSports.com along with Adam's analysis for each pick. Plus, there is much more NBA draft coverage right there on CBS Sports. <laughs>